All right, we're live. All right. Wait, cannot validate stream key. Oh, that's fine. All right. So we have Ganon versus Game Watch. Game Watch does have the advantage in this matchup due to having the escape mechanism in his up B. That frame three escape, well, frame one escape with the frame three hitbox. It's quite nice, especially for those those hits. So Game Watch, he does have a good dash attack and shield pressure, but Ganondorf definitely has the damage that he can do, and Ganondorf has a ton of follow up off of his down throw. It's just a matter of if if, if he can get those those grabs, and it's going to be one stock down. Maybe really takes the first stock. So Green Hill Zone is definitely a very good stage for this this matchup as well. And it's gonna be a nine. And he's gonna get the ledge. No, he didn't go for the ledge. He opted to do a back air and back and didn't go out and get to the ledge on that. And there's the brick, and he's gonna go for the ledge here. And it's gonna be jabs right the wrong way, and he's going for the side B again. Right now, there's no chance of a nine because he just did it. And here comes the B out of shield and the down the key to, to follow up. Down tells can be for the kill. And there's the kill. Three, four stocks to two right now. Again, having a large deficit that he really needs to overcome. Down throw, F air. That was not the right option. F air would have killed. And now game watch is gonna be able to get some money in the bank. So down tell definitely oh there's the backer for the kill. Backer having that extremely long disjointed hitbox. It's a really hard to play against. And Dak is up smash. Not going to be quite connecting. He was expecting a roll away. And is it going to be the roll away? No, it's going to be a left uh, side throw. And he's going to go for the grab. He does get the ledge grab. So three stocks to one right now. Whoop taking his sweet time. He does have the pressure advantage. He has brick down tilt. And it's going to be four. Turtle going to be trying to make some pressure. And the thing that makes this really hard for Gan uh, Ganon is that... Uh, Melarulu does play Ganon as well, which makes this kind of rough. All right, and Wook going to be shielding that back air. Chair is going to be connecting. That's going to be the stock. And we go to game number two. Where do I update? This is not friendlies. Um... All right, let's see if I can figure out this stream setup. Oh, it's an even match so far. Uh, Link definitely has a lot of things in this matchup with that boomerang. It helps out quite a lot. And let's see if I can... Yeah, I don't know where it is. I'm just going to wait for him to update stuff because I don't know it. I don't know his system. I don't want to screw anything up. So right now, Game Watch does have a stock advantage, but this is not a bad matchup for Link. He does have a lot of follow-ups off of down throw, and he also has boomerang, which cannot be absorbed and leads to a lot of things as well. And it's going to be that up air follow-up. I think a down air might have been good for the kill, but at the same time, I don't know if the knockback would have been good enough, and it's going to be good for the kill right there. All right, he gets the taunt, and bomb going to be going, bring his invincibility, he gets the bomb crossover, 17%, bomb crossover, tossing her over in there, and it should have been a normal job there. I think it would have been a lot better. And Boomerang drops the bomb intentionally, but it doesn't quite explode. He picks it up and gets some punishment. Nine going to be coming out. What a waste. And it's going to be the down tilt for the kill. Not for the kill, but for a little bit more damage to, to protect himself. Bacon going to be flying out. Chair crossover. Link doesn't, definitely has a lot of things in this, this match, but he really needs to abuse them. So he has that Boomerang. He goes in again. He should have retreated Boomerang into a fair. I think that would have been good. Up, uh, up smash is going to be good. It's going to be a key coming through. No, it's going to be just retreat, forward air. It would be good for the kill. Almost. All right. 
So Keyblade doing decent right now. He needs to keep staying mobile. It's going to be an up B, not going to be good for any kill. It's going to be getting him a heavy punish and be getting him killed. So even game right now. Bomb going to be coming through. He, he needs to retreat with those a little bit more because they keep on exploding on him. Uh, Boomerang is going to be flying through once again. So where's your setup thing? It's that thing. Okay. And how do I tell it to update? And how do I just control S or something? Yeah, control S press. Okay, and that updates it. Okay, sweet. Okay, Nair's gonna be good for the kill. Sorry, just learning the CSS for this. Not CSS, but just the general design that he has made. All right, up he's gonna be good. Oh, it barely gets him above the ledge. That could've been really dangerous, and the terror's gonna be pushing him down. And will Melee Ruler take this, or will Link make a, a turn, uh, a comeback? I don't know. No, you had mine. It's gonna be Nair low, and it wasn't Ellis. And that's when, gonna be it. When matches are done, can you just stop, stop this recording, and then start it again when it's uh, all done? Okay. Oh,